Today, we are visiting Epic member Explo. Okay, so this femtosecond laser, right? Yep. Where's the cooling system on it? I'm looking for the pipes. Where are they? There's no pipes, actually. The pipes are underneath here. There's no water cooling block. You mean this is hermetically sealed and you have yes. a cooling system in there? Yes, indeed. Yes, there's no risk of water leakage. Nothing. So that means I could use this in crazy environments. Do you mean like this is military grade? How yes. heavily it's built? Yes. I mean, what, do you have some crazy mean time between failure? What, like 90,000 hours? That's fantasy, right? Even more. Even more. That's not fantasy? You mean yeah. you have a mean time between it failure does. that exceeds 90,000 hours with a yes. femtosecond laser? Yes, this is a very reliable laser. And there's very there's little maintenance here. Zero maintenance. So that means I can focus on material processing. That yes. means I can focus on the application of this tool. Yes. Really? You can install the laser and forget about it, basically like that. So this is something that I can add to any production line, install it. You mean this is like, like robotic systems that we yes. expect to run for 20 years straight. Yes. Now when I add this, I've got a laser part of my fact production line that yes. is a, is reliable as old factory equipment, but yes. this is modern and new. Yeah, this is true. Due to dry cooling technique, the integrators really love the system because it is compact and very easy to use. So this is basically plug and play femtosecond laser. Definitely, yes. And my God, so what that means is because you don't have this thermal variation, yep. right? That means your laser is extremely precise and yes. that's why you're able to these material processing samples, but what blows me away right here, sapphire and shot glass D263. So how are you cutting this without cracking? Yes. Is it, is it because of the femtosecond? Yes, this is the power of femtoseconds. Due to the femtosecond pulses, you introduce a little thermal uh, effects onto the material. And so you get very good qualities. You see no cracks whatsoever. The femtoseconds are perfect for virtual material processing. I mean, I've, I've seen these materials processed in the lab before and I've heard a lot of foul language because of the cracks that occur. Oh, yeah. 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 So you you know what? You've just cleaned up uh, clean rooms oh, and, and removed bad language. My God, this is absolutely amazing. Epic members drive the photonics revolution.